all back at it, concluding Daily Xander 265. Just had an wow. awesome experience. Before yeah. I even share, or before I even ask you a question. Yeah. Awesome experience with Jesse podcast. And how'd you like that podcast? Oh, it was man? awesome, was, man. Was... Well, I'm definitely on the same wavelength as Alex. Just like, man, let the conversation flow and just like let it be a natural expression of whatever. Yeah, because like, and I feel it's like, all yeah. good. Yeah, because I feel like yeah. a lot of times when just when you have conversations with people. And you want to have like a genuine, real, deep conversation. There's really no agenda you want to push because then when you, I guess when you have this wow. agenda you want to push, it's just going to limit like your thoughts, what you kind of expect. Because yeah. you're going into it with an expectation. Like my expectation is to talk about this. Yeah. Because I'm talking about this. I might yeah. even shoot down some ideas you have and I'm yeah. not going to be open to it because I really want to say what I want to say about it or express what Dude, I want to say. I'm not say. about that. <laughs> I'm not about that either. I feel <laughs> you. I feel you. That's awesome, man. But as always, dude, I, I appreciate... Uh, oh, let's even do this. I appreciate you uh, wanting to spend the time to do the podcast. So, the time has come. Jesse, you're my... I don't know what guest you are as far as... Um, 27th? Somewhere in the 20s. 16th? Somewhere in the 20s. It might even 20, be 25, 25. How, which how old you are. I have no idea, though. That's how old. That'd be really cool. I'll have to me- message you if that's the case. Yeah. But, Jesse, to, answer the, to ask you the question... The question that's on everybody's minds, at least it's on my mind, if it's on anybody else's mind, it kind of should be. It should be. It should be. And I think he already knows what the question is. I've seen some is. of these. Yeah, I, I don't know if I remember the yeah. exact Oh, words. yes. Uh, it, it, yeah, it all falls into the same thing. So, Jesse, what do you want to do before you die? Well, yeah, I mean, I think, um, how much time do I have to answer this? As much time okay. as you want. Well, I think there's maybe, like, one or two things that I like always gravitate towards when I'm like thinking deeply about myself. And uh, I think one of the things is, man, there's so much I want to experience in life. You know, like I want to experience like better versions of myself. I want to experience like different stages of life, like different places around the world, man. I want to um, travel and like, just like experience, like feel things like, and um, I think that is, priceless and a crazy opportunity uh, and I think the other thing man is is to like be and probably like the main thing that uh, if you really like boiled me down and found out what I'm made of and, and, and why I am am uh, it would be to be a positive impact on in this world and I actually don't really care how like big the impact is you know I uh, it's definitely something I've thought about before, but just to be that, because for like the people that it imp- that I or someone impacts, it's it's like about that moment. It's about that relationship, and that's what I've really learned is like if I can, you know, just help like change like, like two people's lives, mm-hmm. like for them, that's worth like a million bucks, and like. They don't care if I changed a million people's lives. They care that I changed their life. Mm. And man, that's something that I really see now. And like, that's all. That's all I want. And uh, I don't think it's like hard either. It's not like this like thing. It's not like oh, I need to go to this school or have a certification or have this experience. It's just being excited about other people and uh, knowing that I'm not the only one on the planet as is uh, a good realization. So man, yeah, before I die, like. You know what I want to do is um, not live for myself, I guess. And uh, man, I think that truly, like, if I was dying, like, was looking, or when I am dying and looking back at my life, I know that that's what I can really be proud of is the things that I did for other people. Yeah. You know, and like, I'm not gonna be sitting there being like, man, I wish I would have watched more movies or eaten more cookies. It's like, no, like, I'm really glad. And I wish I would have done more for other people, you know, family, friends, just being there for people. Because, like, man, when you go through hard times, like, you know what helps more than anything? Just, like, having someone there with you, like, feeling it with you. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing you want more than to, like, share that pain or, like, have someone that understands the struggle. They don't even have to say anything, you know? Just be present. Just being present. You know, one thing I, on that note that I have thought about a lot is in the Bible, Job, uh, he like lost everything. Mm -hmm. He is like the epitome of human suffering and despair. And 
three of his friends showed up and no one said anything for seven days. And like, I get that, dude, not that I've gone through a fraction of, of what he has, yeah. but like, it was just like, they like shared that. Yeah. And like, that's what I think life is about is like, it's not about having the agenda like, oh, like, dude, let me like say this thing that's gonna like make you stop crying. It's like, no, just like be present, like in that moment with them. And uh, no one really does that. I don't know. But I think, I, maybe not that no one does it, but I think it, man, like, you have to have people in your life that are like that. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe, like, we can be that for somebody. Right. Yeah. 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 And, like, it's probably not expressed as much as far as, like, that's a approach when it comes to just, with regards to, like, relationships and, like, say there's a situation where you just stand for comfort kind of thing. Like, just, yeah. you don't necessarily need to say say something every time it's just yeah just kind of be each other's presence and absorb energy and yeah kind of provide comfort and yeah comfort well and I think stuff. that's one facet yeah. of it you know I think about I've heard a couple stories and like different coaches that have changed my life they weren't like trying to they didn't have some like agenda or plan for me they just had a general like huge like good will towards mm -hmm. me and like good um dream about me you know like in the sense of like they just believed and they believed in me and believed in Sally Sue and mm -hmm. Billy Bob and I think that's it like like someone is either that person or not yeah. you know and, and that's something that I try to be yeah. kind of from that perspective yeah, yeah. so, so wow. I feel like you you're definitely on a good path to make all that happen as far as just being able to impact cool. no matter what the numbers but just have an impact on other people's lives and yeah get really true give out true value and then get value in return but yeah I like to say um, or at least kind of what I've learned over the past couple weeks but also just I've always operated just give more than, than myself kind of thing or like give more than I take but um, even like you could say like the 51-49 yeah. principle where you the, you're generally you're giving more than you're actually getting back in yeah. return just because you yeah. get you get so much of a fulfilling sense of being a human when you're yeah either like relate to people you inspire the people you just help out and kind and no matter what the exactly. type of activity so yeah that's a and that's giving you know thing. giving isn't always like what you have to say mm -hmm. a lot of times it's like listening or yeah. it's like physically like yeah. helping someone with like a thing yeah. time. so giving is a totally different yeah time it's, it's a totally different perspective yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like it's thinking about the other person's interests yeah. dude that's the, that's that good good that's, that's good, the good, good stuff yeah. Awesome, man. Dude, thank you very much for uh, sharing. So that's what I want to do before I die. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone's going to die. That's like <laughs> the crazy thing that, man, that it's like maybe like a, a dark thing to think about, but it's really not. I think it's, I have realized that's like a part of life. Like you have to come to terms with that. And it should be motivating to yeah. be like, hey, my life matters, yeah. you know, yeah. to me, to other people. Mm -hmm. And because look at someone who's had a loved one taken away, like, it's like the worst thing ever. Like it ruins people's lives. Mm -hmm. Like death is a real thing. So I don't think it's a dark question. I don't think it's like a gloomy topic. I yeah, think it's, it's actually the most alive thing ever you could ever talk about. What do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do before yeah. I die? Yeah. 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 Dude. So okay. keep asking away, man, because it's good stuff, you know? Yeah. No, I think, you know, the more I ask people, I was, I can, I kind of get a sense of like, well, who actually has kind of thought about it or, how they go about their day to day as far as processing decisions. Like for me, that's just always in my head. When every every task I do every day, kind of thing. Like I'm gonna die someday. Looking back on it, what do I Dude, how do I make like the most of my day? And, yeah, like, yeah. And first off, like like things such as like, well, I want to make sure I'm surrounding myself among like positive people. Aren't gonna be like emotional vampires yeah. sucking energy out of me. Wow. And sometimes you gotta be selfish with that as far as like you gotta purge people out of your life and go from there and uh, just always That's doing true. doing new stuff new experiences like today yeah met up with you yeah. and Kim and then yeah. just we, learned like Kim had to do like a dance we danced and we just practiced dancing together as a little squad for like tree. an hour yeah it was wow. fun yeah. we might have to do that more often yeah dancing. it was great I loved it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I used to hate dancing but it was really fun yeah. and then um, the first time I was over here we actually did a uh, Nerf gun fight. Dude, look at those Nerf guns. Nerf guns. 
It's kind of really fun. Guys, if you don't have a Nerf gun, yeah. like, it's kind of great. Yeah. Because you can shoot them inside. Exactly. I don't, I don't mean to... These darts kind of hurt. They're like the off. <laughs> they kind of... They kind of... They kind of... Especially they hit like on the shoulder to your or eyes. forehead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your eyes. But like, before you die, you got to... Yeah, you gotta count up, like, let's be real. <laughs> you don't be that person on their deathbed thinking, like, oh, man. I wish I, I could have popped a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> horrible. Oh, yeah. that's kind of funny. Hey, man, thank you again, always, for um, sharing your time and then what you're feeling in the moment. Because yeah. I also feel like that question, you might answer, like, I might answer it, too, like, five years from now, totally different. Yeah. Like, that's, that would be... Yeah. I dude, think you series almost, two, go yeah. back and have the same See, conversations in five years. Yep, and that's what, that's what I kind of like about what I'm doing right now as far as just the full documentation. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but... <laughs> if I ever get if I ever the time like ten years from now we're like you know what I should look back on those videos I did and like oh my god that's me look how I answered that question look how they answered that question maybe I should see if I can get in contact with Dude, them I like hey it. man this was you let's hear what you have to say now and like I how do you change kind of thing because it's so this is just turning into another podcast <laughs> but I'm like hey, lighting well, up but it's part of the question though so like we're just we're playing on it's the moment. not well we're just, okay you can still ask, you can, yeah you can still go into this question man because so... we got like four minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, What's great. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, man, like, kind of like talking about this, like, man, these are good conversations to have. And just the fact of, like, hey, let's explore something. Like, let's maybe have a, this conversation or let's, like, go into some kind of a discussion. But, you know, I used to, like, look at people that were, like, successful or, like, you know, on the cutting edge of whatever. And, like, I just never thought that was tangible. Like, mm -hmm. for me, like, I always just thought it was, like, endowed upon people. But, like, you know, it's not, like, someone is going to um, discover how to, like, grow a liver out of, like, tissue cells or whatever. Like, someone's going to make that discovery at some point. Yeah. Someone is going to be the next president of the United States. It's going to be someone. Like, it could be you. Right. You know, someone is going to be, like, the best baseball pitcher in the world. Like, that title is going to be attributed to someone. Like, it could be you. Like, someone is going to be the most motivational guy, like, writing books, giving speeches. You know, someone's going to be bake the best cakes in the entire world. Yeah. Like, someone is, like, the best, yeah. you know? And uh, so that's kind of something I've learned recently is, like, that those dreams, man, they're not so far away. And we get lied to and we think that they are. And we just settle for, like, living for less. And man, like, if there's one thing that I want myself to be convinced of and other people too is, is, man, like, be someone with a lot of ideas. Just start having, like, ideas. Like, like you know, man, like, be innovative. Let's just, like, try stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't step up to the plate with your bat, you can't hit any balls. Like, not a chance because you're not there, but man, like, if you want to at least try to hit some balls, like, you got to step up to the plate and just start swinging. Yeah, and I, man, I've really started to live my life like that, and uh, <laughs> it, it's awesome. Like, you can be successful, and then as you're on that path, you kind of figure out like what you are all about, you know. Yeah. So, that's yeah. pretty interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. That's yeah. A, a cool realization. Just trying yeah. to put that, yeah, dude. The can this this thing's holding out strong, man. Two fifteen minute videos, twenty percent battery left on the on the phone. It's been a good day. It's been a good we've, day. We've uh, hoarded up some some pixels and some data of yeah, uh, some fun. conversations. Yeah, all good conversations, good yeah. documentation for sure. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, again, that question's always in my mind, and um, especially wow. in the past. Probably about six months almost ever since um, I don't know if I ever told you but I, I, I volunteer only have like a minute left but that question is in my mind just because I've always uh, or I've just been volunteering for a hospice hospice wow. of comforter oh yeah 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 for since like March whatever so that question becomes like it's in my it's engraved in my head now because I, I mean like just like seeing people like on their deathbeds or whatever just like the condition wow. there and it just got me thinking like well if I'm in that condition like your whole outlook totally changes as far as what what's next kind of thing like you won't even necessarily, like, a lot of times you start questioning, like, what, what has been my life purpose, if I fulfilled it kind of thing, or, like, all the things I've done previously in my life, was it, am I happy with it kind of thing, am I satisfied with it? And then going from there, as far as, like, coming to terms with, like, yeah, I'm going to die, and then what, like, am I ready, am I accepted for, um, to go on to whatever's next kind of thing, and it's just, uh, it's a different mindset to put yourself in when you're not used to it. 
Boom. Boom. That different mindset. 